Hi, and welcome to a how-to video for .active Free. In this video, I will be showing you how to prepare your data so that you can create a data-driven planogram. This includes region settings, importing data, and how to prep data, which includes data periods, removing commas, unique identifiers, formatting number columns, such as barcode, sorting data, market, product, and date, checking for duplicate information, cleaning the data sheet. Let's begin with the region settings to make sure that the operating system is compatible with .active free. To do this, go to Control Panel, then click on Region. In this window, navigate to the bottom and click on Additional Settings. Under the Numbers column, there are two main areas that we need to make sure are correct. The first is Decimal Symbol. This should be a dot. The next is the Digit Grouping Symbol, which should be a space. And the List Separator needs to be a comma. Next up, navigate to the Currency tab. The Decimal Symbol should also be a dot. The Digit Grouping Symbol must be a space. Lastly, we go over the Date tab. Look for the section that says Date Formats. Below that, we will find Short Date and Long Date. Ensure that yours is set to the same as displayed on screen. Next up, I will be showing you how to insert data into .active Free to create data-driven or generic planograms. Step 1. Using the Data Ribbon. Once you open .active Free, you will notice the tabs at the top. Data, Reporting, and so forth. For this task, we are going to be using the Data tab. Underneath these icons on the ribbon, you will see that the sections are divided by use and name accordingly. Data Transfer, Template, Various grayed out functions are only available on the .active Lite, Pro, and Enterprise version. Step 2. Save the template. Within the Data tab above the word Template are the two functions we are going to use for this task. As mentioned at the start of the video, .active Free can read product data using an Excel template. To create a report template from scratch, we select Save. Once done, this pop-up menu appears. Click on the Browse option, where we are able to tell our Windows Explorer where to save this template. I would suggest saving the template in the same place as the data to have easy access to it. Select OK. The template opens. Now we will move on to preparing data for .active free. Here we can see an Excel sheet that has not been prepped for .active free. This is the file that we saved in the previous step. The format of the sheet is XLS. X file format, which is Excel's default file format. To import data successfully, we need market and product information, as well as sales and units factual data. The factual data must have a from and to date associated to it. The .active template contains headings which map directly to the .active system. Row 2 holds examples of the kind of information each field needs. Let's run through it. The from to date is the period of sales for the product data you are using. This is important as together with unit movement, it works out the days of supply for the planogram. From store ID to cluster, try insert much market detail as possible. Not all market details are necessary though if you have multiple stores in one sheet. The store ID is compulsory. Market Attri, which is short for attribute, is for any other market information you would like to add. Please note the numeric or text values. From product ID to subsegment, product information is required. From the barcode to whether the product is active in the store or not, all the way down to the product dimensions and category details. 
product also has an attribute. Another tip would be to ensure that you have the product dimensions as it makes for a smooth space planning. Last but not least, we have product facts which include fields such as sales and units. If you do not have the data to populate these columns, then the planogram will only be visual. There will be no factual substantation behind the space allocation. Let's review what is required when preparing data. For the sake of this video, I will be using a sheet that has data in. The next step will be to highlight all the data, use the find function to look for any commas in the data and remove them. This is vital as .active sees commas as a field separator. Should the data contain commas, information will shift columns on import and be incorrect. To do this, click on column A, line 1, then hold Control and Shift. While doing that, use the arrow keys to select the data accordingly. Once highlighted, we use the Find and Select function under the Home tab and click Replace. In the Find, what line input a comma and click Find All. When working with data, we need to have unique identifiers for market and product value. The most common unique identifiers for market information is store name or store ID, and for products it's product ID or EAN barcode. In our data, we have store code and product code, which are our unique identifiers. The next step will be to format number columns such as product code and barcode. This ensures that these numbers do not save a scientific notation due to the length of the number. To do this, select the column, then click on Text to columns under the Data tab. Click Next, Next again, and then under the Data Format section, choose Text and then click Finish. Now we need to ensure that there are no duplicate rows of information, as this will skew the sales and units information that comes into Dot .active. First, we must sort our data by three main fields, period, market, then products. To do this, we go to the Data tab and click on Sort. Next to the Sort by, under column, click on the drop-down and select Period from. Then click on the Add Level icon and add our Store ID and Product ID. Once we have done our sorting, we can move on to the IF function to check for duplicates. First, insert a column next to the Product ID column. Right-click on the column and Insert Column. Next. Format the cells before using the IF function for the newly created column. Excel will see the new column as a text column. This is because the previous column I right-clicked on to insert the new column was formatted as text. To do this, select the column, then once all is highlighted, right-click on a cell and click on Format Cells. In the Number tab under Category, select General, then click OK. Now we can start with our IF function. In line 3, column O, click on the function icon and select the IF function, then click OK. Select line 3, column O, then input an equal sign, and then click line 2, column O. By doing this, we are saying that if this product ID equals that product ID, then output and duplicate answer, duplicate. If does not, then output an answer OK to show us that there is no duplicate. Click OK. Drag to the top column and then double click in the bottom right corner of the cell to reveal the rest of the answers. If your data contains duplicates, return to the receiver to resolve the duplicate row of information. Do not assume and remove one of the duplicates or add them together as this will damage the integrity of the data. Step 3. Use tab. Let's go back into Dot .active. Next to Save, 
we have the Use function. Select it. It opens your Window Explorer, which is generally left in the last place you used it. Find the folder which you saved your .active template in. Open. In our next video, we will be covering some fundamental tools once data has been imported into a shelf plan.